It's Sonny here with another video. I got tons of great feedback on my last video about hair care and the products that I'm currently using to help promote hair growth. No, it's now. Um, so I want to show you guys another video <laughs> to help you grow your hair and these products can be made right at home. Yes, that means you can make these right at home. It's three do-it-yourself conditioners that help with shine, protein and moisture and before we get started with the conditioners I want to show you guys my current hairstyle of the moment this is a protective style that my friend Deborah helped me make and I love it so much and it's going to help me keep manipulation off of my real hair as it grows so this is a protective style that I'm wearing it's a wig yes she's wearing a wig but it's cute and I love it and also, my face is beat to the gods because I'm heading out for the night. And I want to show you guys quickly my favorite lipstick of the moment. It's by NYX and it's called Sweet Pink. And this was about $5 at my local beauty supply store. And I love it. But yeah, let's get started with those conditioners. Be sure to lay everything out on the table for easy access so you don't forget anything. You'll need a bowl to mix everything in, a knife to cut your avocado, an egg beater to whip things together, and a spoon to measure and steer. Also, this is optional, but if you want to store these homemade conditioners for later use, you can use a sealable bowl or jar to store it in. Remember, homemade recipes can only last about four to six days in the fridge because there are no preservatives. Now let's make our homemade conditioners. First, we are going to make the quick and easy conditioner for shine. All you'll need is grapeseed oil. This oil is inexpensive compared to most essential carrier oils and protects against moisture loss due to it having high amounts of omega C fatty acid. Then you'll need honey. Honey is an emollient which is a natural softener to smooth in hair. And it's a natural antioxidant so it keeps your hair very healthy. Lastly, rosemary oil. Rosemary essential oil is one of the best oils for hair growth due to it consisting of rosmarinic acid that has been shown to have antibacterial properties and decreases the hormones that cause baldness. Measurements are completely up to you depending on your hair length and density. I like to use 1 tablespoon of grapeseed oil, 2 tablespoons of honey, and 5 drops of rosemary oil. Mix it together well with your spoon and apply it to your ends first. Then work your way up your hair to the roots. Once you're finished, put on your shower cap, wait 30 minutes to an hour, and then rinse it off with warm water to reveal shiny, nourished hair. If you wish, you can proceed with the shampoo and deep conditioner or just a deep conditioner. It's totally optional and it's up to you. Then we have our strengthening protein mask. This consists of honey and mayonnaise. As we said before, Honey is an emollient which is a natural softener for the hair and it's antibacterial and antifungal for people with dandruff. Mayonnaise is rich in protein because it has eggs and it strengthens damaged hair. You mix this together by placing the mayonnaise in your bowl, the, the measurements are completely up to you, and then you add equal parts honey. You mix it together very well and then you do the same thing as before. Shampoo your hair this time and then place it on your hair, put a shower cap on for about 15 to 30 minutes, rinse it out with lukewarm water and then apply your deep conditioner and then you're all set. Lastly, we have our hydrating moisture mask. This consists of olive oil and avocado. You want to be sure your avocado is very ripe for easy cutting and smashing. You cut your avocado. And avocado consists of vitamins and amino acids. It also has healthy fats and oils that hydrate hair. Olive oil is a natural moisturizer and it restores dull damaged hair. What you want to do is cut the avocado and make sure it's as ripe as possible so it can be easy to smash and cut. You cut it into small cubes and then you place the olive oil in the bowl and then you place your avocado in the bowl you smash it together and for those people who don't have strong arms to smash it with your egg whip you can then put it in the blender for a few minutes or a few seconds and then put it back in your bowl 
I don't like to leave it in a blender for too long because I don't want the, the heat from the blender to evaporate all the nutrients from the avocado. So you mix it together, shampoo your hair, apply the avocado mask for about 30 minutes, and then rinse it off with very lukewarm water, and then use your deep conditioner. So there you have it, three homemade conditioners. Thank you so much for watching. Like the video if you want more videos like these. Comment below if you have questions. And don't forget to subscribe. Later, dolls.